The other thing that I'll say to you tonight, and I could talk to you for a very long time, because I'm a former pastor in Winbank. Uh, but uh, I won't do that. The other thing I'll say about the benefits of knowing what it is that you want and why you want to do what you do or being clear about why it is you do what you do is that it makes being average not an option. Uh, so most people here, that one of the things I love is helping people understand that a business owner does not an entrepreneur make. Is that fair to say? Now, let me say that I have tremendous respect for any individual who is willing to risk the security and the safety of the paycheck and the job and the benefits and the paid holidays and all of that and willing to leave all that behind to pursue a dream and to start a business. I have tremendous respect for that. Uh, my hat's off to every business owner out there who's made that leap. But let me say this, just because you're in business for yourself does not make you an entrepreneur. Is that okay for me to say? There's a major difference between the two. Remember I talked about earlier how the, 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 the game in the average realm is filled with people? And if you want to compete at a higher level, you've got to rise above that. And when you're clear about why you do what you do and why you got into that business for the first place, whatever that may be, being average is not an option. You become a person who's committed to self-development and growth and being the best at what you do, and you start leaving average behind. Does that make sense? Right? An entrepreneur is more than just a business owner. A proprietor is a business owner who runs a business, usually in an average way. An entrepreneur is a game changer. Uh, they're an influencer. They're like they disturb the peace. You know what I'm saying? They actually come into an industry, and there's two types of, of, of entrepreneurs or innovation. Really, what an entrepreneur is, is an innovator. And as my friend and colleague Robert Hargrove, one of the top executive coaches in the U.S., says, there's two types of innovation. And the first one is sustaining innovation. How many here want to know how to set yourself apart in 2012 and get better results than you did last year in your career in business? Listen carefully. Sustaining innovation. Sustaining innovation is where you take an existing product or service and offer it in such a new and radical way that no one's ever done before that everybody pays attention, stands up and notices. There's something about this guy. There's something about this business. There's something about the way they're delivering it. Sustaining innovation. It's about being creative, standing out from the crowd, making sure you're not just one of many. You want to get up into that upper 5% of professionals that are making most of the money and winning most of the clients. Is that true? Yes? Yes? No one here wants to grow their business? Okay. You want to be in that upper echelon. Now, the other type of innovator is a little bit tougher to achieve and requires a lot more creativity, and that's what's called disruptive innovation. That's the realm of the iPhone, for example. Coming up with a radical new product that changes an industry and literally changes the way that we communicate. Right? The world has been defined by the iPhone, hasn't it? And all the BlackBerry users are grumbling, you know. All right, for the record, serious business professionals are iPhone users. <laughs> That's right. You can tweet all about that. All right. From Breakthrough Coach himself. If you want to achieve your goals, if you want to set yourself apart, commit to becoming that innovator. Figure out why you want to do what you do. Figure out what is the end game for you. And what that does is begin to stir up a passion and commitment inside of you that creates something. Uh, you tap into an energy. You tap into something that's beyond the norm. We've all worked with professionals that exude that type of charisma and enthusiasm. And it has nothing to do with personality. For example, I'm a shy, quiet type. <laughs> a wallflower. I've been described as that has nothing to do with whether you're shy or whether you're an outgoing person. It's like Kelvin said, I have studied the art of networking for years. And building a business, if you want to build a business, you better know how to network. Or belong to an organization that's going to teach you how to do it effectively and help you and guide you. Because it's true, you go to an event and those that have applied themselves to building strategic networks and building relationships and, and you know, it's not about how many business cards you hand out tonight. Can I just say that? It's about how many you get. 
So stop handing them out. Now nobody's going to hand out a business card tonight. It's going to be hilarious. I want your business card. No, I'm not giving it to you. I was told not to give it to you. <laughs> I need to get yours. People are going to be fighting about getting each other's business cards. It's going to be great. We're going to put that on YouTube. You know, a brawl breaks out at the OBNA. It's great. Fantastic way to launch an event. Right? But I've applied myself to that because I understand that when you're networking, when you, uh, uh, when you, when you study something in order to become great at it, it's because I don't want to be average. Right? Uh, one of the things for me, for example, in being a coach, people ask me, why are you a coach? Well, first of all, I love to watch people succeed. And I love to be part of that process. There's something about watching the penny drop in people's eyes when you're working with them and they get it and all of a sudden they are doing it themselves. I tell people that my goal as a coach is to, uh, you know, that eventually people, my clients won't need me anymore. But they'll always want me because of what I bring to the table. Uh, everybody and their dog is called a coach today. Isn't that true? Like, everybody's a coach. My passions bring coaching back to coaching. And when I talk about not wanting to be average, like, when I committed to be a coach, I've been coaching people in leadership for over 15 years. When I decided to be a coach, I said, I don't want to be a good coach. I don't even want to be a great coach. I want to be one of the best coaches out there. I, I want Breakthrough Coach. My goal is that it becomes a world, like, renowned across Canada as the premier coaching outfit for serious professionals. Big dreams for it. A big, you know, you, you, you got to set for yourself an impossible future. One of the problems is when we haven't figured out the why of what we do and we haven't really determined why it is that we get up out of bed every day, then it's easy to set our goals very low, isn't it? And then we, be we, we belong to that average crowd again. If you're going to rise above that and be part of the 5% that wins all the clients and makes most of the money, then you've got to set your goals a lot higher than that. I encourage my clients to set an impossible future. Create an impossible future for yourself that you might say, I'm not the type of person who can achieve that. Well, create the impossible future and then grow into that person. Does that make sense? Create something, aim at something that is going to cause you to become more than you are right now. And that's where coaches come in. This is where people who surround you can come in to help you not only get clear on why you do what you do, but help you set goals that are going to really help you achieve. One of the uh, things that's come out of this networking thing for me, and I've got a, some of my clients here tonight, it's great to see them here. And uh, I told them, you know, the only rule was they couldn't heckle me. So, uh, so far they're behaving. But I've been an avid student of leadership. I, I'm a learner. I'm committed to growth. Uh, I'm committed to build my networks. We have a joke among my clients that, you know, if you need anyone for anything, I probably have a guy, right? I probably know someone I can connect you to because I've done that very intentionally. Uh, but one of the exciting things that's happened is, uh, and I just want to tell you about it because it's coming to town, um, out of my commitment to learn and to grow and to increase my skills all the time, which you should be committed to as a professional, uh, I connected with an organization in the U.S. So I'm just giving you an example of what a commitment to learning and networking can lead to. I connected with an organization. I was reading their materials, fantastic coaching materials. I thought this is the type of organization that I want to learn from and that I want to grow through and uh, reached out to them uh, to get further training. I was inquiring about their training program because I was so impressed with the owner's approach to coaching, his philosophy, his methodology. How many know here, if you want to grow, surround yourself with people that are better than you, right? That's how you're going to become part of that 5%. Don't surround yourself with average people, right? Because that's where you're going to stay. Uh, you've got to surround yourself with people to make you grow. So I reached out to this organization and before long, within weeks, talking to the founder himself, talking to the author himself, and he and I now have become friends, we're colleagues, and his name is Robert Hargrove, he's one of the top executive coaches in the U.S., has coached companies like Adidas and uh, Ikea uh, and Fido, Rogers, uh, he has coached Fortune 500, Fortune 1000 companies, uh, people that have gone on to become U.S. Senators, I mean this guy's a real deal. And uh, he and I are working together on developing a training program, a coaching program here locally, uh, one that is called the 100 Days to Your Business Breakthrough, and another one, a high-powered coaching group that will be by application only for serious professionals that are committed to becoming the type of entrepreneur that I talked about just a few minutes ago, a game changer, an influencer uh, in their industry. Uh, some of you may know the name Jay Abrams. Jay is one of the top marketing and entrepreneurial minds in the U.S. who also happens to be connected with Robert, and the three of us are actually going to be putting this program together, and you're going to be hearing more about it. Uh, in days to come. I tell you that to tell you this. If you're going to grow your business in 2012, if you're going to achieve better results than you did last year, then number one, figure out the why. Maybe you've 
had a why at some point, but in the day-to-day -day routine, you lost your ability to see it clearly. And you're not really clear about why you do what you do, and that's why when trouble and obstacles arise, they set you back the way that they do. Or maybe that's why you're just not op working at your peak efficiency or operating as well as you could or achieving the type of results you could because you, you don't have that burning desire inside of you to get there. How, anybody here ever have an idea that you saw on TV then later on, you saw somebody else who actually implemented your idea and say, hey, I thought of that. <laughs> right? If you <laughs> watching TV, you're on the internet, you're going, hey, I thought of that. I could have done that. Right? Well, here's the difference. You had an idea that you thought could be. Maybe you were even passionate about it to think that it should be. This is a good thing. It's a good product, a good service. It could be, it should be. The difference between you and that other guy is that other guy said, it must be. I've got an idea, but it must become a reality. and I'm committing myself to making it happen. And that's really what sets entrepreneurs and people of excellence apart from the crowd is that when they get an idea, when they get a vision, when they have a dream, when they have that why factor figured out, it's not a nice idea that could be someday or should be someday. That's the realm of whimsical dreaming, right? But when they're saying it must be so, that's the type of determination, perseverance, and commitment that sees itself through any storm and, and rises above the crowd to become excellent in their field. And I think we got some serious professionals here tonight who are committed to that very thing. So I'm going to turn it back over to my friends here in just a moment, but I want to show you how you can take some next steps with Breakthrough Coach, and I'm not about to give you a sales pitch. I want to give you a bunch of free stuff. Is that okay? Yeah. Say, I like free stuff. Like oh, you're a very <laughs> compliant crowd. It's good. It's amazing what you can do when you ask for permission. Okay. Uh, number one, you'll see my table up here. I've got a bowl. You can drop your business card in. If you would like a free copy of my ebook, Turbocharge Your Business Now, I've gotten tremendous feedback from this ebook. People have read it. Uh, there's local companies that are using it as a training guide with their employees. Um, and this is a free resource, about a 100 page ebook that's going to cover about nine or 10 business principles that can really help you go to the next level. It's for free. So just drop your business card in there. And for everyone who does that, I'm also going to send you a newsletter with some networking tips. How many would like to get some practical how to's so that every time you go to an event like this, you walk away with some serious contacts that you can actually begin to see some ROI on. Would that be okay? All right, so I'm gonna do that for you. Uh, I'm also offering something special tonight to everyone who's here, so not just to those who registered, but those who showed up. You have to be in the room to win, okay? Uh, I'm offering a free, or not a free, but a $100 coaching session. It's a one hour coaching session for $100. This is actually a serious discount for my normal fees. Just ask my clients, they'll tell you. Uh, uh, but if you would like a one hour consultation uh, that will help you really get your business off the ground in 2012, I wanna sit down with you, all right? Finally, you wanna register for this, a webinar that's coming up Tuesday. There'll be information going out by, via social media and my newsletter. But this coming Tuesday, January 31st at 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern time, a free webinar where myself, Robert Hargrove and Jay Abram will be on the line to talk more about these upcoming coaching programs that we're developing to help serious professionals here in this area go to the next level. So this will be a free call, about 30 to 45 minutes. You'll get to find out all about it and decide if it's something that will be of use to you. Let me end with this. Figure out the why. Figure out the why. And watch yourself go uh, to a whole other level in your life and business. All right? Good. Was that good? Good. Thank you. Wow.